This has been unusual uh, mm -hmm. because usually when a jury deadlocks, they say we couldn't decide, we fought, we tried, mm -hmm. and it's left at that. Not this time. This time it wound up being you against them. Why do you think that was? Uh, I mean, essentially, it boils down to the evidence. Uh, the evidence was just not there in this case. And, and unfortunately, my, my fellow jurors felt that the story that was presented by the prosecution was a story that made, that made the most sense. And in my opinion, you don't go with the story that makes the most sense. You go with the evidence. So, um, so it, was, it, was, it was very difficult, but it was, it was a decision that I feel very comfortable with. Why were you in such a different place than the rest of them? I know it was 10-2 for a while, you mm -hmm. say, that there was you and another man who was holding right. out. So it's not uh, right. just you, but it wound up being just you. Why wouldn't you go where they went? Uh, again, it, it's, it's, it's based on reasonable doubt and my understanding of reasonable doubt, which is a very high threshold for, for, for voting guilty in, in our country. Um, I just feel that the other jurors had a, a much lower threshold for getting to that point of, willing, of, of being willing to vote guilty in this case. They say Pedro Hernandez admitted it. He admitted it several times. He still admits it now. Yep. Why isn't that good enough? Uh, we were told by the judge that you cannot convict, you cannot vote guilty uh, against someone uh, based only on their words that they use against themselves. So a confession is not uh, evidence of guilt. You have to prove first that the crime was committed and second that the crime was committed by the person who is being charged with that crime. You need to corroborate the confession. Yes. I mean, yes. it hurts you when you say that you did something unless you can show that it was a compelled confession, right. a false confession, right. um, or coerced confession. Right. But it certainly counts. But it, Right. It seems like you were very willing to discount it. Why were you mm -hmm. so willing to discount a man say, I did it, I told my wife, I told my friends, mm -hmm. I told people, I told the church group. Why was that not enough for you? Well, there, there's, there's lots of reasons why. I mean, I don't, probably don't have time to tell all of them, but, but essentially um, most of the testimony, most of the eyewitness testimony against uh, Mr. Hernandez was based on, on uh, things that people said from 35 years ago and people heard 35 years ago. Um, in the courtroom, in the, t in the jury room, we couldn't remember what was said 10 minutes ago in court sometimes, which is why we asked for readbacks. So, um, so it made me nervous to, to judge a man on, based on, on words from 35 years ago that someone might have heard at a, at a church group meeting. So it was, that was one thing. The other thing was the fact that the, that the police had him in custody for seven hours uh, with questioning with no video uh, recording being done, which I felt was, was an issue, it was something to think about. Now that is something that raised eyebrows about your disposition, was mm -hmm. that you were reported to say mm -hmm. that, and you can verify it or, or mm -hmm. shoot it down right now, that, hey, these are the police we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And that made people think that you were just anti-cop. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Are you just anti-police? Are you suspicious of police? No, not at all. I mean, I, I have huge respect for, for the NYPD, for the prosecutor's office, and, and in general, I think they do a great job. I think it was unfortunate that they, they didn't videotape the first seven hours of this of this interview, uh, which, which would have really helped. Everyone in that jury room really wished that that had happened because it would have helped us to see how the interview was conducted with Mr. Hernandez. And I'd, I'm not alleging that anything was done wrong. I think the police used a lot of tactics that were very, very good to, to elicit this confession. But when someone has a mental health condition like Mr. Hernandez, uh, low intelligence, can, that, can a person like that succumb to a confession more easily? I, I think so. But so. he had said the same thing before and to other people. Allegedly. How did you square with that? Allegedly. You think that each of these different groups were making it up? Well, I mean, one of them is his ex-wife, who obviously had a very um, bad relationship with him. And the other were three, three older gentlemen from Puerto Rico who were in a church group who say that they heard something 35 years ago, but none of their stories were the same, and they changed over time. Now, you grew up with this. Mm -hmm. Aton mm -hmm. Pates is a name that, you know, I may not have pronounced correctly every time. It was yeah. a tricky name, but mm -hmm. it was a very easy story to understand. It was right. 1979. Yeah. We were growing up in the city. You were in Jersey. Yeah. This was the story that yeah. changed everything. People were so hungry for satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And now you have this guy who says he did it. Mm -hmm. And 11 of your colleagues yeah. say, no, this is it. Beyond mm -hmm. a reasonable doubt, it has to be him. Sure. What was it like for you to hold out? Um, you, you know, people have said, you know, that it was, you know, it must have been hard or something like that. But to be honest, I felt very, very confident in, in, my, in my position. And I, really, I was really hoping that I wouldn't be here alone today, that I'd be here with at least nine or ten other people. Um, there were a few people that were, were never going to vote not guilty. I, I, I could see that from the beginning. But, but there was a lot of wavering in that room for a while. It even got to 6-6 six, six at, at one point. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I wish I wasn't alone right now, but, but that's how the system works. I mean.
any doubts who did it? Somebody did this. Mm. Somebody made yeah. this kid disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Who did it, if not Pedro Hernandez? I'm not going to pretend that I know the answer, but there were other suspects presented in the trial. Uh, Jose Ramos is a, a very good candidate for that, for that, um, for that, for that likelihood. And the prosecutor is saying in so many different ways, we don't think it's Ramos. Mm -hmm. We think it's this guy. We know it's this guy. Mm -hmm. If you trust them, what mm -hmm. was it that if you had to point out just one thing where you couldn't get past it, what was that thing? About? Why you wouldn't believe what the prosecutors were saying, why you wouldn't believe mm -hmm. after 100 hours mm -hmm. what your 11 colleagues were saying. What made you hold out? I mean, honestly, the weakness of the evidence, the, 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 there was no corroboration of the confessions. The confessions are difficult. I, I, give, I, I grant that. I mean, they're difficult for me. But there was no, no, no clear evidence that corroborated his confessions. The thumbnail is means motive and opportunity. Mm -hmm. He worked right there. Yeah. Uh, he had the ability to do this. He mm -hmm. had access to that basement. Yeah. He had the opportunity because the kid came by yeah. all the time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and motive. He's a disturbed guy who had a problem with kids, by his own admission. Problem with kids, I don't, I don't agree with. And he was only 18 at the time. His mental health uh, issues, you know, emerged after that. That's so. what they say. That's right. what they suggested right. on his side. Right. So, but that wasn't enough for you? Uh, no, no. And by you're good shot. with it today? I, I'm fine, yes. What would you say to his parents? You know that they've been big advocates for yeah, this. Yeah, of course. I mean, my heart goes out to the Pates family. It's a horrible thing. And, and uh, I'm so sorry for, for the loss of Aton, but that doesn't mean that you convict the wrong person uh, in, 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 in the case. Clear conscience, you move yeah. on with your life. Absolutely.